What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a harvest. As you can see, there's a lot less uh, foliage uh, on the rack right now, but we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a harvest and I'll, sh I'll outline our future plans for this growing rack. So let's get right into it. So as always, let's start low. Um, this guy right here is about ready to go into the compost. We're just gonna chop, we'll ch go ahead and just chop it up um, and throw it in one of the big tumblers. Um, move on to these guys right here. These are all lemon basil seeds, all the other ones that were in here. Um, I'm not really sure why because none of them even ever broke the rock wool, but they all just kind of withered away regardless of how much water I gave them. Um, but as you can see, we already have, let's see, two right there. And these all look like they're, they're popping up pretty soon, except for that one right there. But again, we're looking for four basil plants because we're going to get these four, which are just sweet basil. And then right here, since this uh, experiment was a complete failure, um, we'll go ahead and plant, or we'll go ahead and put another one right here. I just need to go ahead and cut these holes down a little bit. I'm not, not sure if you can tell. Um, can't really tell with the net cups in there, but these are actually two and a half inch, not three inch, and I need them to be three inch holes. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that today after work, and then, um, get these in there but look at these guys look how good they're doing all of, all of them looking really green all of them just about all of them starting to put off their their second set of leaves this one's probably the most predominant um, but we'll go ahead and look down here I need to go ahead and stir this because some of the sediment or some of the uh, nutrients have settled to the bottom but you can see one you can kind of see two and I promise back there in the back there's you can kind of see a little bit. It's focusing a lot of, on a lot of the crud that's on the outside of this, so I'll need to clean that so I can get a better view. Um, but we have roots in all four of these, which is awesome. Um, doesn't look like any of these are gonna be uh, hindered by being in a hydroponic system, and we know basil does really, really well. I mean, there's the proof right there, but um, we'll have four, four sweet basil and four lemon basil. Um, ideally, once one or two from each are ready to be harvested completely, um, and I can find some Thai basil, I'll throw those in there as well. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to the top. As you can see, I probably should have waited to cut this guy down so you could see a perfect comparison, but um, this was pretty much an inch or two shorter um, than all the foliage of, the, of this Anaheim pepper. Um, and let me get my tape measure real quick. So you can just see. So we, we were looking for four to six inch peppers and let's see right there I'd say we got the four inch on that one these other ones are about three three and a half inches um, but at this point it's taking up too much space or at least it was before I cut all the foliage off but it was taking up too much space and these are all going to be harvested um, see if we can just kind of knock them off yeah so there's one not a bad size pepper right there I'm going to go ahead and just take these guys off as well. See if we can just take it off by the branch. There's one. And there's the other. So not too bad. We'll go ahead and harvest our jalapenos as well. As you can see, I went ahead and did the same thing to the to these guys. These guys are a little bit closer to being ready. You can I can just tell by how easy they are to get off of the the vine, but as you can see, we got a pretty good, good sized ones. I mean, comparatively for a 32 ounce mason jar. So, but seven peppers. I think that kind of just proves my point. Um, spe specifically in the, these containers, it's just not worth trying to grow peppers. Um, I believe if you're going to grow a pepper, you should probably get your get yourself at least. This guy right here is four gallons. I think you'd be pretty set with one gallon as long as you trimmed bud sites and made sure that it was only focusing energy to the to the peppers um, but you know we'll see um, once I get a different set set up and a different system going um, it's very possible that I'll throw some more peppers and some more cucumbers and stuff like that back into the mix just because um, I do enjoy growing those in the in the hydroponic system it's very very cool to see something growing out of just straight just out of nutrient dense water um, as you can see, I went ahead and tied this guy up a little bit. Got a little bit of a stress right there, but 
um, that has not hindered its growth right there as well as everywhere else. So um, we'll probably end up going, going, going ahead and picking a lot of this today. Um, that way we can get some bushier offshoots. Um, I do want to let this go to flower inevitably. So the second I see flowers, and since I already have four basil plants in there, um, I'm not really worried about keeping production up on this one. I just want to work on flower production um, and get some, see if I can get some seeds. Um, I know that's going to be a, a while off for this guy, um, but it looks like, just based on everything I see, it probably be one, two, three. I feel like we get a few hundred seeds at least from the uh, flower sites, so that would be more than worth it just to let this kind of all go and uh, see what happens with that. Going back to the Carolina Reaper, you can just see you got one offshoot right there and then right here you can see the three branches. I, I didn't really even notice until they got so big, but these guys it's going to be, I think it's going to be a, some good production. Um, Carolina Reapers don't need to get big to get hot. Um, and so even if we get, even if we get peppers that are this size, that's not too far off from what a, a regular uh, Carolina Reaper would, would be. Um, they just, they'd actually be probably closer to this, but just a little bit shorter and a little bit more bulbous. You can see we are just waiting for the bud sites to come in nothing so far so what I'm thinking about doing is kind of tilting this guy over a little bit and seeing if, seeing if I can get him to to grow right first before and then um, time up so that way he, he inevitably sees it and turns upwards um, let me know if you think that's a good idea I'm not entirely sure what that would accomplish but we are running out of room very quickly and I don't want to run into the same situation we did with the Anaheim where the peppers just always end up up here um, I know that's gonna probably gonna be the case anyways considering how tall it is I mean it's two inches from the top already um, but we'll see what happens uh, I think I skipped these two guys down here but again we're gonna get rid of this guy that was a failed experiment um, you can see it's kind of weird you can see go ahead and fold that back it was up to it was about about here all the soil and everything has just kind of circulated up in the middle um, and I'm not really sure where everything else went, but the water probably just settled it and everything. Um, kept that really, really well watered. It just didn't have any structure, so um, it immediately just started falling over the second that it got any kind of uh, dryness. And when that happened, it was hard to bring it back. So not really a surprise there, but a little bit dis disappointing. I wanted to see some actual wheat, but that's totally fine. Like I said, I went ahead and cut the uh, lavender lavender back. Um, if we can focus on that, let's see. There. So he's already grown probably an inch since I did that. I I cut everything off, and these two little, specifically these little uh, nubs right there, or growth points, were nearly non-existent. Um, so super excited to see that it's already growing back. And um, with that being said, let's move on to the outside. All right, we've already got some decent growth. So these are our two black beans. We actually got some like a big bag of dried black beans a little while ago, um, and these guys have just taken off. So we didn't even know if they'd be able to sprout. We soaked them for about eight to 12 hours and then planted them. Within a day and a half, they were already uh, sprouting. So we went ahead and planted them, pulled out the, the smallest one, and then we'll just let these guys go up the, the vine. Ideally, this one on that one and this one on that one. Um, moving on, kind of scattered sparsely around are the those blue squat blue Guatemalan squash plants. Um, we're going to be putting some some container like a little small container garden down there. Um, that way I can keep an eye on it because stuff like this. Well, not right now, not at this point, but if you can see, this is the red amaranth. I think I planted it probably three or four days ago, and so it's already sprouted. We're gonna let these guys get a little bit bigger before we transplant them into um, the surrounding landscape area as well as some other big pots too because um, we'd love to see these guys go to flower. This is gonna be my hot pepper pot. It's got my little assortment of all three of the habaneros I got from In My Gardener as well as a, two Carolina Reaper seeds. So eight seeds total in there. So we'll see what happens. Um, here is our lemon basil for the outside. Doing pretty good as well. Got our just regular transplant basil from inside. Um, pretty slow on growth. I'm not really sure what's going on. I just fertilized it a few days ago, so 
we'll see what happens with that but we have in here our dragon fruit seeds again no growth yet um, and these two guys back here are our um, vintage wine tomatoes as well as our um, purple Cherokees so super excited about that purple Cherokee I really wish I wouldn't have gotten the burpee brand but I couldn't I, I think it might have been out of stock at the time on MI Gardener's website and we'll move on to these guys over here these are just cherry tomatoes again with our basil and they're doing pretty good so keeping them nice and watered it's easy when you when you live three feet away so we'll keep on keep an eye on those and we'll probably just cut the foliage get all the suckers off that way they're all single stem uh, plants but that's gonna do it for out here and that is gonna do it for this video guys I really hope you enjoyed the video and as always I'll see you guys next time